So I'll try to teach standing stones. It's an Ed Eponic trick and it's really cool. It is hard. Okay, so to start, I recommend where you normally would keep your finger tight right near the top, pull it back a little bit further than you normally would when learning the trick. I found this helped me get the timing and balance right. All right, now, once you got that down, you need just gentle throws, all right? And obviously this, you know, you're gonna have pretty consistent with that, but it's that back of the hand catch that's gonna be a lot harder to do. So you really want to let the string come through your fingers and let bite just as it hits. It's, it's timing, it's gonna take practice. Okay, so to do this, you're gonna to wanna to just throw a regular throw, catch it in your palm. This should be pretty uh, common and what you expect. All right, so then from here, I found uh, kind of turn the hand and toss it that way over because when you're in this position, you need to get it to be in, ready to come up the back of the hand. So it takes a little contortion, but if you do it quick, it's pretty seamless. Okay? And that is uh, the basics. And then after that, it's just practice, repetitiveness, and a little luck. Now, as you can see, um, I recommend you try to keep it as straight as possible when you're throwing, but you're gonna not at times. So that was kind of cool. When it was coming back, I was able to adjust my hand a little bit to accommodate the, how out of alignment it was, to be able to catch it and absorb it back in and ready for the next throw. And that there is the trick. Put it together, repeat as long as you can, and seems to be three rotations is standard of completing the trick. So good luck, have fun, and thanks Ed for another good one.